one thing that I love about exploring Namibia is that there is always something new to see. But there's one place in Namibia that has always been on my bucket list. And when I told the Namibian Tourism Board, they told me that, Maya, we love you and we'll make that dream come true. My goodness, I can't believe that I'm on my way to Gensley. This will definitely be a dream come true. Come along with me. Let's go. I know Namibia got the best roads in Africa, but I've never seen anything like this before. Anytime I see uh, gravel roads in Namibia, it's maybe uh, in driving through a national park, but we are on our way to Sources Valley, and I can't believe we'll be driving 300 kilometers on a gravel road. It was it intentional? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. I think it's they did it intentional for people to get that experience, you know, okay. that adventure. Wow. So going to Susanville is more like an adventure, eh? It is more than. That. Hey, I can't believe that I'll be having an African massage for <laughs> hours, <Tonight>. man. <laughs> I think I'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> Definitely. Well. shocking thing about Namibia is that you can drive for over 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers to even 300 without seeing a single person on the road. Is it, is it true though? Because this is what I've noticed. No, it's true. Since, since we started driving, we've not seen anyone. So imagine if your car breaks down. Then you have a problem. <laughs> have you ever shot fuel here before? No. No. We always make sure of fuel. Mm. That you have enough fuel. That's why some guys even have extra tank in their pockets. And if anything happens, believe me, no one will help you. So if you're coming to Namibia, if you want to hire a car and drive, make sure your car is always full. Make sure the car is perfectly well. I mean, the car is in the perfect condition. Because yo, you can't see anybody. Look at that. We're just driving somewhere. I mean, I don't even know where we are going right now. This I say we are lost, but we are not lost. We're just following the route to Sosa's Vlay. Oh, and you know, you know, met anyone? We're climbing, eh? Yeah, okay. Okay. Wow! Wow! Okay. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Can you stop, stop? Yo, we just came across an insane view, and I felt like we need to stop by just to see this insane view, bro. Drop my phone. Wow. This view is insane. Oh my goodness. Like, I want to tell you guys something there. Before you die, try as much as possible to visit Namibia. Whoa. This is insane. Wow. Jeez. What an incredible view, man. This will be a perfect place for camping. Yo, believe me or not, God took his time to create Africa, man. Namibia is a heaven on earth. Namibia is indeed a paradise, man. Look at that, somebody building his house over there. Yes. Oh, my seatbelt. Ha! Huh? What? But I've thrown to the front. Oh. Yeah, they had to do They had to do because when it rains, yeah. it's a problem. See, this is more like a, a pavement. Yeah. yeah, interlocked. So that means the road was intentional. It, it was intentional for them to do a gravel road because when it comes to this place, they've done like a pavement from here to Palm And the view is amazing. Man. Like, yo. It's look, it looks like somebody picked it. Yeah. <laughs> The view looks like it was painted, eh?
One of the reasons why I prefer road trips is that you see interesting and exciting things along your journey. In those years, uh, this was the source of water to the our Bushmen people that are original from this area. Oh, okay. And then the name Seslim is two name is two languages. One is Afrikaans and one is uh, Nama. Okay. So Ses is number six and Rim is the belt. So in those years they were getting water in here. They have to connect six belt and then they put on the basket on the belt, stand on the edge, throw the basket in and pull it with the water. That's where they got the name six uh, Seslim. Because was, oh, Seslim Canyon. Is oh, okay, that's the name of the canyon. Yeah, okay. so it's the name of the canyon and it's the name of, of this area now. Oh, okay. Yes. So this, there are some beautiful caves. Also, those people, they used to hide here and uh, good for them to show when they were hunting the animal when the animal were coming here. So there are, there are caves in here? Yeah, so you will just see them on the way in. Wow. That's something that I never knew it existed. So you can see the, uh, the, 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 the logs were packed by the water when the water was running in. It's not human being that packed these things, it was the water. So, so for us, it's just to walk in. As you are getting down, uh -huh. the temperature is getting low. Yeah, also. it's getting a bit cooler now. Yeah. Oh. Hello. I'm not going. I'm not going anymore. I just, I just want to sleep. It feels good here. I'm not coming back, bro. Can go alone. <laughs> oh, is it, is it part of the caves? Yeah, yeah. Is that a cave? Is this one where I'm sitting? Uh, cave, the proper one will be getting. <laughs> oh, I thought this is part because it feels good. Anyway, <laughs> let's keep moving. <laughs> I think this is um, one of the caves that the Bushmen used to stay in. Hello, hello. Right over there. So this, Look at that, that's another cave. Yeah, this is the other cave. If you have to get in, in this cave, then you will see the canyon inside the other side. But it's very deep the other side. You don't have to jump. Finally, we're here. Ah. Oh my goodness. It's only us guests here. Look here. There's no other cars. There's no other cars, eh? It's yeah. just us. All I need is a cold drink, man. Uh, the sun is extremely hot. The AC is on, but you can still feel the sun from outside. So yeah, we're here. Thank you. Is that a cold drink? Yay! Oh my goodness. You All the three for me, right? No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I told all the three was for me. But it's also for your thing. Mm. It's like she knows it. They give you what? A cold face towel. Oh my no. god! Yeah. Is there a bed here? <laughs> is there a bed here? I would love to sleep right now. This is so chill. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is perfect, man. Okay. This is perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. My goodness, I found myself out of nowhere. And this lodge right here is a modern lodge in an Asian place. I mean, if I talk about Asian place, this is a national park, one of the oldest national parks in Namibia. Having lodge right on the desert it's something that i would never ever forget
what? Where are we gonna sleep for tonight? Come along, let's go. Yo, it's extremely hot on the desert and thank God there's a swimming pool right here. This is swimming pool for two, but I'm not a good swimmer, so ah, cheese. Like a chilled water, even though it's extremely hot, but the water is so cold. Ah, no, 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 I don't think I can swim. No, no, nah, nah. Anyway, let me just sit here and enjoy the view, man. I'm not entering. What? Whoa, but the view in front of me is spectacular, man. Whoo, this was actually a perfect destination or a perfect location for the lodge. Just to get a chance to, I mean, see the desert right in front of you. That's amazing. One of the unforgettable desert grace experience happens on the dunes during sundown. So since I'm here, I had to chase it up. So after cooling down my body temperature in this cold plunge pool, I mean, yeah cooling only my legs, I had to jump into a safari vehicle to go check out the sand down. Yeah, so this is our final yeah, location. So, yeah. yeah, I just make it short to come here then. What are we going to do here? We are going to have our snacks and Enjoy the Some experiences is once in a lifetime. Believe me or not, this was worth it. This is where all the magic happens. Have you ever seen a pink mountains before? I don't know what happened, probably it's a magic, but you see the pink color over there. What course is that? This was actually my first time and I couldn't even explain, but let me give you a bit of signs of what really happened. The gentle hues of the descendant sunset reflect on the red sand dunes and give us a reflection on a mountain and that gives us the pink color. I'm so sorry, this is my own definition. If you have your own definition, let me know in the comment section. But to me, this was exceptional. 
to me this was so magical thank you that's why everywhere in this lodge that we are staying everything is pink yeah see pink. this is pink everything is pink <laughs> just one more time morning how are you all doing 5 30 in the morning we just woke up and um we're on our way to sausage but can you guys believe it like it's 5 30 and i mean the sun is almost out so which means we have a longer day and um shorter night because i feel like i slept for a few hours man and when you come here around i mean 11 11 o'clock it start getting extremely hot but you won't believe that I have to wear a jacket at the moment because it's so cold. I mean, it won't feel like this is the place that you were before. So, apparently, when it comes to um, visiting the sources, there are only two times that you need to go. It's either um, early in the morning or late in the evening because it gets extremely hot on the desert. You guys know that we're on the desert, right? So, yeah, come along. I'm so excited because. I'm actually not doing this for you, but Sosus Vle has been on my bucket list. So I'm doing this video for myself and I just want you all to come along with me because sometimes you always wanted to achieve something, but you don't know when. So when you get a chance, you make it happen. When you get a chance, you just feel like, oh my God, finally, the dream has actually come to pass. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe probably when I go there, I'm going to cry because, yo, I've always wanted to visit the sources of man and uh, can't believe that finally that dream is coming true. interested in the water anymore but <laughs> oh my god I've seen the pictures I've always wanted to just be here you know and I came to Namibia this time around I'm like yo whatever happens I need to make it to the dead flea at least just hold the tree kiss it and just say that it is well it is well with my soul <laughs> you know i don't know yeah whatever i'm saying it's coming straight from the heart because 
this has been on my bucket list man i've always wanted to experience this i've always wanted to see this with my naked eyes i always wanted to be here you know <laughs> it feels so different it feels so different it feels so different oh my god <laughs> whoa 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 wow ah this is unbelievable this is so spectacular like it looks so unreal man it feels like you are dreaming but no i made it i made it to the dead valley this is beautiful oh my god oh my god africa is a hidden game man africa is a treasure man and it's time for us to uncover all the treasure so that its people can come and see what God took his time to create for them. It's time for every African to cherish Africa the way they cherish their woman. Jeez, oh my God, I love this. I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm super excited to be here. I'm super, like, uh, I'm mean, so happy, so happy. <laughs> everything that the world needs to come and see but the world is coming but Africans themselves are not ready to embrace what they have see I'm not saying no one should come here everyone is welcome but I'll be so happy that if I came in here I would see my brothers from Nigeria I'm seeing my brothers from Ghana I'm seeing my brothers from Angola I'm seeing my brothers from different part of the continent enjoying what exists in their own content can you guys believe that this trees that you're seeing has been in existence for over 900 years yeah so does it mean that all these trees were like greens 900 years ago yes back 900 years ago these trees were still alive and because of the water that was overflowing here and keep keep it under the, 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 the water. So these trees were made not for a lot of water and then they happen to die because of a lot of water that is in. Now they are dying but still standing and they are one of our tourism attractive because they are standing in between two high dunes that are very, very beautiful. Over there there is Big Daddy that is more uh, is the highest dune in this area, the Soso Slay. Okay. And uh, the other side that we are going later, there is a big, dead, big mama that is also one of the highest in the Soso Slay. So uh, stay, enjoy, and then we call it now white, uh, white paint because of uh, it is reflecting very white on the sunlight. On the sunlight, when you are seeing on, as you are seeing it now, it's a uh, white paint. <laughs> Now that we're back from the Dead Valley, it's time to have brunch or lunch? It's a brunch lunch, all right. So this is the setup. It looks so good. And I believe that the food will also taste good. It's time to dive in, man. What's that? Oh. That's a vegetarian, right? A vegetarian? Bro, I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> Jeez, I can't be vegetarian. I will never be in Jesus' name. Then you have a ah. <laughs> Meat is life. Yeah. <laughs> we have some uh, green salads. Okay. Oh, I, I also have something to toast here. Okay. Uh, uh, if you would like to have it, we can have it now. It's for you when you make it to the top of the Big Daddy or anywhere that very, as long as you are here in the Red Dunes. After a, a long morning that we have to go up there on top of Big Daddy and come down with a dead, fer a dead flame, we have to toast. So look at us. We hey! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. Welcome. Thank wait, you. Wait for us to toast together. I'm not toasting with him. 
because it didn't come up. <laughs> it didn't come up. All right. Don't okay. Go. Cheers, mate. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. Thank God. So, Cheers. one more. Let's go. Toast to Namibian Tourism Board and toast to Gondwana. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> Good. Thank you. <laughs> that's that's my big uncle. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's my big uncle. <laughs> so we got big mama, big daddy, big son, and big, big uncle. uncle. <laughs>